Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about a special test that's used in the assessment of labral tears, and that is the clunk test. Let's get into it right now. So, to perform the clunk test, the patient will be positioned in supine, as you see right here. The PT will use one hand, we're gonna call this hand one, to stabilize the humor at the bicondylar aspect near the elbow. So this is at the distal humor. So in this case, the stabilizing hand is more distal. And then the other hand, hand two, is gonna be on the posterior aspect of the proximal humerus. You could think of this as the testing or mobilizing hand, so to speak, okay? So let's get into the position first. So the shoulder is gonna be abducted to some extent around 120 to 150 degrees right there. You'll notice my right hand here, this is gonna be hand one where I'm stabilizing at the distal humerus. And then my left hand is gonna go under the proximal humerus. That is the posterior aspect of the proximal humerus. Now hand two, my left hand here, is gonna provide two forces simultaneously. One, anterior translation of the humeral head and also humeral external rotation, okay? So let's take a look at that right now. So see that? So we're getting anterior translation and also external rotation. And you can note the direction of the external rotation because you see the forearm essentially moving backwards. Here's a better view of that, okay? And basically, when you're doing this test, you're listening for clicking, grinding, or a clunk, or also the patient's report of that, okay? And if you have reproduction of clicking, grinding, or a clunk within the shoulder joint, that would be a positive clunk test. Now, if you have a positive clunk test, that indicates a labral tear. Now, like the compression rotation test that we covered in a previous video, the clunk test is more exploratory. It doesn't give you specifics of where the labral tear is. It doesn't tell you if it's postero inferior, if it's antero superior, if it's a slap tear, just exploratory. So it's up to you to then take the result of this, once you think you might have a labral tear, and branch off from there and do more specific special tests to see if you can figure out where the labral tear is more specifically, and then that may in some cases help guide your treatment a little bit better, okay? So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of the clunk test. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button for notifications for all videos in the future. Thank you so much.